Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we are going to learn about how to enable PowerShell remoting. To begin with that, if you are running on a latest service, by default, it would be already enabled. Anything on Windows 2012 or Apple, already uh, PowerShell remoting is enabled by default on the service. However, on the client machines, we need to configure, as we discussed in the PPT, uh, with a group policy or with uh, some kind of scripts to be executed to configure that uh, specific settings. The command what we use to enable on a machine is enable hyphen ps remoting. If you just type that enable hyphen ps remoting, it's going to actually ask us to answer for some intended questions like uh, we're going to see enough. In my case, it was not asking anything. If uh, if you want to you know force it, you can you know force to not to ask anything. But in our case, what happened is uh, since my settings were already defined, it was not asking. But in your case, if you're trying to do it, it might ask you, and you might have to uh, say very similar kind of you know output you might be getting here. Uh, for example, let me. Uh, zoom it so that i have taken a screenshot uh, this kind of you know action it might ask you to execute on your machine uh, and uh, one would be the setting uh, your ws management quick config so are you sure that so this is going to actually modify your firewall uh, as well as uh, winrm service to be you know set to auto start so are you okay to do all these uh, configurations so you can you know set as yes to all for one to four steps if you put it to a it's going to answer for everything as yes and the next one would be the uh, again uh, it's going to register some kind of you know session information configuration with the some of other powershell specific uh, configuration so if you are sure we can do that we are intent to do do this because uh, we want to enable powershell remoting so whatever the questions it is asking for you you can say as yes so that would actually enable the powershell so now uh, we have the powershell enable remoting is already configured now so what i can do is now i should be able to uh, connect to any of the uh, computer with some kind of you know commands let's try to uh, let's try to do actually uh, one of the commands so the first command uh, what we can try is uh, enter hyphen uh, ps session so if you just you know, give a tap uh, it should give you as enter hyphen ps session and the command uh, if you just have a look on the help uh, you should be able to get the uh, health information with some of the examples how to do or uh, to uh, connect to the remote computer for example you can try with the vm name uh, which is the uh, remote computer name and you can do all these you know different you know syntaxes you have the option so out of that what i'm going to try is i'm going to try a very basic uh, uh, like uh, i can give your entropy session with uh, hyphen computer name so I know the uh, syntax here. So I'm just giving here the computer name is nothing but the remote computer name what you're going to enter here. So in my case, inhyd hyphen dc01, uh, that should actually connect automatically remotely to that specific uh, computer. So what happened is now we started a command uh, that's enter ps session on this computer so in the background so let me connect and uh, let, let's actually you know uh, the command whatever it is connected this console is coming from uh, my domain controller this is my domain controller inhyd inhyd hyphen dc1 is my domain controller so if i do the ip config it's actually retrieving from my domain controller and if i do the host name it is actually coming out of my domain controller in addition to that if you see here the session is coming out uh, directly from here so you can actually you are uh, sitting in front of that computer think that you are actually um, started a session uh, by sitting in front of the computer you can do all the steps except the this part and other limitation things which we talked in the uh, ppt and that ppt you can even download uh, i have attached uh, as a resource section you can you know go ahead and uh, check out because that was a very quick um, run so you can always uh, refer to that ppt and uh, so it's it's good that you know you are able to remotely connecting to another computer it is very very equivalent or uh, to your ssh but and also uh, not exactly the rtp uh, 
but it's very similar to that uh, you have the full control of that session so from here you can create a directory you can run some kind of you know commands for example uh, I want to run uh, I think that you know I'm in front of the computer right so I can run get services for example uh, on this machine um, get service uh, example uh, here hyphen name uh, I want maybe like bits very simple um, in fact it's a spelling mistake which have typed you get service so I should be able to get it here the service uh, specific to that as a page so similarly uh, similarly when you're trying to do any kind of actions to be performed on a remote computer you can use a PowerShell command let um, and that can be used so if I don't want I can you know simply exit here so it, it is actually coming out to your normal shell so in so in this case what we have done is we, we try to use the uh, we try to use this uh, specific command uh, to enter on a single computer what if, if you want to try on a multiple computers so that's a, a next lecture which you can you know learn on that thank you for watching this